All right, you, YouTube, uh, I got a video coming up right now. I'm processing making it upstairs, and I got to Jones in to build a plastic. So here's where we're at now. This right here is going to be the final build update. I will clean all this up here in a little bit. I'll clean all this up in a little bit and take a good clean update picture for you. But as we are now, the body is ready. I uh, found some paint called Suede It. So I got the top done and I got the running boards done. And I didn't have to use the one that I put the cloth tape on. Um, being this was out of box, we have to uh, use only what they come in the kit other than glue and paint. Uh, there's no foil on this. Um, like I stated in the video coming up, how I did the paint work. And now I got the inside detailed. See if the you can't get that. Did did some work and try to work that hinge where it would stay up, but it's not doing too good. But I did the gas tank and then the spare tire will go in there. But it's got the blinkers on. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but some of the old cars used to have leaky headlights and stuff. And since I went to go old school. Um, you can't see it right here, but I put some clear glue in there and get it to look like the headlight was holding water. Um, just a little. Back in the day, we didn't have a whole lot of detail items when I when I was first coming up. Like I said, my first glue to getter kit was 1980. So back then, I didn't know what foil was, and everything was either spray painted or brush painted. I'm gonna tell you what, there was many times I was upset thinking I had detailed my car to come to find out that I was using telephone wire and, and it was way too thick, <laughs> you know, but I was trying to be the guy that detailed and I didn't know and couldn't get much information, but now here's, like I said, here's the body all detailed, ready to go on. Um, I already snapped the dash in, but like a minute ago I showed you guys the dash and it's all paint and there's the steering wheel now here's the suspension all the wheels are were built and put on uh, I thought about doing a trim ring but then I didn't want to mess up the white wall um, this new medication I'm on kinda got me a little shaky not too bad um, got the motor done there's the motor um, then the interior like I said no flocking I just painted the floorboards and I wanted the seats to look a little weathered or, or used you know cracked and dirty um, most Volkswagens came with like a vinyl um, textured seat and if you've ever been in a bug you'll never forget the smell of the hair that they use on the inside um, I was once told it was horse hair but I don't I don't know that could just been somebody messing with me but all the door panels I got all the door panels done I um, did the seats like that on purpose to make them look dingy and you know worn and dust into the, your crevices and to all your your cracks that you know vinyl does um, underneath like I said ain't gonna be too much I can't put the exhaust on until I put it all together but with that being said if you guys will just focus with me real quick I got to slip gotta I gotta put that knot in there first and then it screws in on the bottom so I'll do that real quick and we'll get the final stance on it by my screwdriver alright now that's And let me get the final piece of the exhaust in there. Once this final piece of exhaust gets in there, she'll be completely finished. This Alright, there's the final piece of the exhaust. And she popped out. All 
right there it is now you see the motor inside there all done got all the tail lights done there's all the exhaust done and see now since you guys seen how much it was moving when I re-drilled the it, when I re-drilled the plastic for the suspension she leveled it out and I know I did a, a slight bit of modifying on it but it was uh this is out of box for the most junk I guess get that spare tire in there and I had one piece of wire I thought I had a piece of wire around here let me get here there get me a piece of wire in there then there's the trunk is open and if you look at it right here would be my completed out of box for 2014 for the DJ Scratchy and uh, Chevy uh, Cheeseburger uh, build. Hmm. Now let's see what that there ain't setting right for. Well, it looks like with the motors in there, it's the most that shuts. I guess he's got those vent hinges. <laughs> They used to have so many options for these VWs, like the Safari windows, and then they would have the double pitted rear hood hinge to where you can almost fold this all the way up, um, or you can like like how it's sitting there. But most of them they opened up this way to get the vent in there, um, just for the air to come off the top of the thing. My grandma had one, and on grand grandma she had the air cooler over here. And they're just really neat cars. I remember driving. The batteries are underneath the back seat. And I remember uh, me, my brother, and my sister were in the back seat. My mom and my grandma, we was on the way from grandma's house back home. Uh, Dad was working and we needed a ride for some reason. And we arced the battery in the back seat. And the back seat had caught on fire. I remember us having to pull over on the side of the road. Because the back seat was on fire. But uh, a guy in his house came out with the fire extinguisher and put it out uh, it was more smoke than anything else The only the underside of the seat got a little bit of char to it but for the most part you couldn't tell other than the smell um, but Chevy and uh, DJ Scratchy here you guys go and I also want to thank uh, uh, DJ Scratchy for all the help you've had um, helped me with uh, through um, getting my how to's on there and for offering to help help me make any of them that I felt like I couldn't make myself but I was going to make this a quick video but I when I start to talking I guess we lose time <laughs> but thanks for following this one uh thanks for uh staying with me and watching me actually complete it that's what I needed to do, and I wanted to show the interior, the work I done to the interior before I put it all together. So, looks like uh, this one here is done, and want to thank everybody that followed, and can't wait till next year. And um, I want to see. I got two questions. Why I still got you on here for the. Would you guys be interested in doing a build-off idea I have? And how do you guys feel about posting? Um, how do you guys feel about posting kits for sale? Like I have projects I've lost interest in, or some other kits that you know they just ain't grabbing my attention. Um, do you guys think it'd be all right if I posted some of my built-ups, some of my projects, and some of my unwanted kits? Um, up for sale. I don't know how you guys do that here on YouTube. Um, I will ship worldwide, uh, you know, you, as long as the buyer pays the postage and, you know, I have no problem doing that and uh, just thought I'd ask that question. Um, 
you guys enjoy your day and i think this is a wrap for my 2014 out of box build thank you all